Today's new Venture Mentor episode is a bit of a public service announcement. Many, many aspiring entrepreneurs share a similar fear, one that will hinder their progress right from the start, but it's not a fear of failure or a fear of too much success. It's a fear of someone stealing their idea. Because they're afraid that somebody else is going to take their brilliant idea, run off, and build the company of their dreams, leaving them high and dry, they don't share that idea with anyone, get feedback, or move forward with building the business. There are a number of issues with this fear, but here are just a few, and please be prepared for some tough love here. Firstly, this fear assumes that somebody else gives a crap about your idea and will bother to steal it. We already know two things. One, that most people don't actually care what you're up to, and two, that most people do not have the drive or desire to start a business. So, the likelihood that somebody is actually going to steal your idea is pretty slim. Now, okay, you're gonna say that that's all fine and good for the regular person, but talking to other entrepreneurs or to investors may be dangerous. Again, another entrepreneur has his or her own ideas and investors are investors and not entrepreneurs because that's what they wanna do. Also, neither group is going to want to ruin their reputation by clearly stealing your idea. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should give away all of the goods the second you meet somebody. You do need to be mindful of protecting your intellectual property but you kind of look like an idiot when you go to an event and talk to seasoned entrepreneurs and investors who refuse to tell them what you're working on. The second thing wrong with this fear is that it assumes that somehow you're such a genius that you've come up with an idea that's so incredibly unique and innovative that nobody else would ever think of it. And that's almost certainly not the case. If you're an entrepreneur in the US, for example, because that's where my clients are, then even if your idea is truly one in a million, there are still more than 300 other people with the exact same idea just in your own country right now. Again, a little tough love here, get over yourself. You're more than likely not the only person with your idea. Thirdly, if the only competitive advantage that you have for your company is nobody else knows what you're going to do, then you're in trouble. You can't stay secret forever, so eventually everybody's going to know exactly what you're doing and have the opportunity to copy you. If you truly have a good idea, then people absolutely will copy you, so you need to have a value proposition and competitive advantage that will allow you to succeed even if everyone and their mother tries to jump in on your turf. Relying on keeping your idea secret as your sole source of success is a very dangerous game that will blow up in your face sooner or later. Finally, if you've created something truly innovative and revolutionary, you should be seeking intellectual property protection through patents or other appropriate means so that this is just not an issue for you. So please, aspiring entrepreneurs out there, get over your fear of someone stealing your idea and start speaking to mentors, advisors, and seeking out feedback everywhere you go. If you won't let anybody know what you're working on, you'll miss out on a tremendous amount of feedback and advice that is absolutely invaluable. And we may find that after all of your hard work and investment solo, when you finally do launch and let everyone in on your secret, nobody's actually interested but you. Did you find this video helpful or fun? Then share it with a friend who you think would benefit from the dish. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe to my channel on YouTube so you never miss any of the latest tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your business grow. And you get to see my adventures through the wide world of entrepreneurship and how I use the freedom running my own business gives me. Also, remember to head over to kcosta.com so you can get in on the conversation about how to build your business to success so you can live your life your way.